It was a tough ending to a very successful season for the Runner Rebels. The Indiana Hoosiers played perhaps their best game of the season today. As predicted, guard Steve Alford caused the most problems for the Rebels. Alford led the Hoosiers with 33 points, and the Rebels just plain couldn't fight through the picks to defend him. I thought we had a pretty good plan to stop him, and it sure didn't work. You know, we, we worked all week on fighting through screens, and we thought if we can keep enough pressure on the basketball that they wouldn't get him the ball at the right time, and we felt like we were going to do a better job on him. I, we didn't do a good job. We didn't do nearly as good a job on him as we had hoped that we would, that we could do. We just didn't have the defensive intensity we normally do, and that's what causes problems late in the game. You know, they got they executed, they got the ball to Steve Alford when they needed to, and he converted. On offense, the Rebels were two-dimensional. Armin Gilliam and Freddie Banks, and that was it. Gilliam fought through the inside for 32 points, and Banks had a game-high 38. He hit 10 three-pointers, a new tournament record. Well, my shooting was tremendous. Um, I shot the ball. I really shot the ball tonight. You know, it was no question. Uh, everyone was in, in my face, and I was just shooting over them. And I was getting fouled, but, you know, the ref didn't really protect me as much as he protects Steve. But, you know, Steve was a great player. The Rebels trailed by six at halftime. They made an early run to take the lead, but the combination of Dean Garrett inside and Alford outside was too much. Late in the game, the Rebels had their chances to come back, but unlike so many come-from-behind victories this season, this time it didn't work. Indiana won by four, 97 to 93. Now, for the six seniors on this team, the loss was especially tough. Their final game at UNLV. Words are difficult to come by at a time like this. I look back on this year, and uh, we have a lot of good memories. We played well. You know, I thank God we came as far as we did. But the um, thing is, we could have won this game today. That's really what hurts, and that's what we have to live with. It's really been a great season for us. We can't complain about it. Uh, we just just didn't sell out hard enough to get this. We've sold out hard enough, matter of fact, to get this far. And uh, we're just going to miss Coach Tarkin and all the rest of the assistant coach. But we just came up short at the, at, at the end. We've been together. We're still going to be together, you know. Um, we just didn't have it today, you know. You know, every, I mean, there's no one. You didn't see no one, you know, in here all mad or anything. You know, we had a great year. You know, we had a great year. You know, and uh, you know, I like to say something going back to Vegas. I like to say thank you very much to our fans. You know, and for all those who came and all those who couldn't make it. You know, thank you very much. And for me, I love you a lot, and I know the team feels the same way. But you know, I like to say thank you.